So Intel just released their 13th generation processor. And what does this mean exactly for AMD as they both are competitors in this space? Not only that, AMD also released some news about an event for their graphics market. What does this mean for Nvidia? Let's find out in today's episode. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So today Intel launched their 13th generation Intel Core processor family. This is formerly known as Raptor Lake. For those not familiar with Intel, the client computing group is very important for this company's total revenue. Unfortunately, due to the overall macroeconomic headwinds that they're seeing, plus OEM inventory reductions, plus the overall competitive nature plus PC shipping slowing down, revenue for this segment was down 25% in the most recent quarter. Here I'm taking a closer look at Newegg and we can see the overall kind of 13th generation CPUs are out. To my surprise, one of their higher tiers is already out of stock. This could be for numerous reasons. One could be just low inventory. Obviously, the other reason could just be high demand. And I do get some questions here and there where I, many people ask why I take a closer look at Newegg, especially for these kind of custom um, processors. Many people, when they buy a processor, they usually buy it on a pre-built PC, on a pre-built laptop. I want to say the enthusiast market to me kind of shows us a little bit of market insight of where the popularity is at the moment. So even though the custom or the do-it-yourself PC making is very small, portion of total revenue for either AMD or Intel, I do believe it gives us great insight of where the kind of market reaction is at at the moment. So for those not familiar, a few weeks ago, AMD also released their new generation of Ryzen processor, the Ryzen 7000 series. So obviously with the new release of Intel and the new release of AMD, a lot of tech enthusiasts are going out there reviewing the platforms and seeing which is better. I mean, if you go online, you're probably going to see numerous articles about this here. We can see one from ARS Technica. We can also see this one from Tom's Hardware. We can see this one from TechSpot. And they all kind of say different things. For certain selections, maybe AMD is a better price. For certain selections, maybe Intel is a better price. But the only thing that I can definitely say for certain is that it does seem that this is a very competitive nature. Both AMD and Intel don't have a true, true winner. It all depends on the user experience. So in my opinion, this could be either bullish for both AMD and Intel. Intel investors might be bullish to say, hey, we're not losing that much steam from AMD and we're not too far behind. If anything, the same could be said about AMD investors. They could be like, hey, the tech giant Intel is no longer a beast and we're still able to provide competitive nature for them. At the end of the day, I do believe the true winners are us, the consumers, because it's gonna make sure that both AMD and Intel continue to be very innovative in this market and continue to release great products for the consumer. Not only are they gonna provide great products but because it is a competitive nature it's also going to provide great price for the consumer as well like we've seen in this channel numerous times the pc market did decline in the third quarter of 2022 by roughly 15 percent but we have seen reports that maybe the second half of 2023 is when things are going to start picking back up so now outside of the processor amd also kind of hits another market the graphics market and today october 20th they did announce that on November 3rd, they're gonna be releasing new information about their next generation of graphics cards. And this is gonna be based on the RDNA 3 graphics architect. And if you guys are enjoying the episode so far, make sure to hit me with a thumbs up as it does help me grow my overall audience. If you want to support a little bit more, make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash Jose. For those not familiar, AMD, obviously the client segment, which is the CPU processor, makes a good bulk of this company's total revenue. The gaming revenue does include kind of the graphics card market, but I do want to say a good portion of this gaming revenue at the moment is made from semi-custom sales that are being used in numerous products like the PlayStation 5, like the Xbox series, and even the Steam Deck, if I recall correctly. I also believe it's pretty impressive for AMD to be combating two semiconductor giants, Intel and Nvidia, in two different processors. If we're not familiar, Nvidia recently released their RTX 4090 line, which is selling at $1,600 and it's kind of sold out. They are expected to release their RTX 4080, which is gonna be closer to the $1,200 price point on November. So 
it's going to be interesting to watch this live stream and to see what kind of market AMD is going to be entering. Are they going to be releasing their high tier processors, which are going to be pretty expensive, or are they planning on releasing more consumer friendly prices? And if they do release more consumer friendly prices, is that going to kind of force Nvidia to release their maybe their 4070, their 4060 a little bit earlier than anticipated? Some other news from Nvidia we can see today a Piper Sandler believes Nvidia stock is about to make a comeback. On Thursday, they did reaffirm their overweight rating and the $200 price point. For those not familiar, Nvidia right now is sitting at $120. So based on all these news, I want to say there's obviously bullish and bearish case for every company. For Intel, the, them kind of providing a competitive processor, the Raptor Lake against AMD's Ryzen 7000 can be seen that, hey, this is a company that is turning things around and there is some reason to kind of be bullish in this company. In the bearish cases, hey, you still have strong competitive nature from AMD. The same could be said about AMD stock price. This is a company that's providing strong products against the semiconductor giant. Not only one, but two, Nvidia. So again, numerous bullish reasons for AMD. Again, numerous bearish reasons. One could be, hey, they're facing the giants of Intel and Nvidia. Like we saw, analysts are pretty bullish on Nvidia at the moment, and so am I. To me, I do own shares of AMD and Nvidia, and these are stocks I'm gladly gonna continue to hold. I don't own Intel, but like I mentioned, there's plenty of bull cases here. And before we go to the end of this episode, if you want to learn more about Nvidia, they did just announce some new data products and some new data center solutions. So check out this video above if you want to learn more. But thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.